I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. You are a son of God. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, share, donate. If you love our videos, if you, if you love what we're doing, pass on the faith to the next generation, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications. Get our app. It's available on all major platforms. Share our content. Donate. A tax-deductible gift to higherthings.org keeps us filling the ears of youth all over the world with the saving power of the gospel. The Lord's baptism. That's what we're drawing on this week. This is my beloved son, says the voice from the cloud, with whom I'm well pleased. Now, he is the only begotten of the Father, uniquely born, Son of God, uh, monogene, uh, that is only begotten. Uh, ESV translates it as uh, one and only. Okay? I think uniquely born is also uniquely begotten. He's unique. He is the Son of God, the only begotten. You and I, in our baptisms, in the Word, in Jesus, are sons of God too. Not Jesus, but in Jesus, we are children of God. Paul says it in Galatians 5, you are all sons of God in Christ. That is something to ponder. The, the, see, it's one thing to sort of ponder that we are adopted. It's another thing to ponder that we're children of God, but when we start evoking son of God, how powerful is that? How close of a relationship is that? First of all, in a world uh, in which gender is sort of fluid and anybody can choose their own, God cuts through all of that. In the ancient world, inheritance was passed to sons. Um, Instead of playing the game where God tries to, to, to overwrite the culture of the time, he simply explains it in the language of his time, sons of God. What is the top spot goes to us. All the inheritance, yours. In Jesus, apart from Jesus, you can do nothing. Apart from Jesus, you are nothing. But in Jesus, in his cross, in his resurrection, in your baptism, in the body and blood of Jesus, you are sons of God. If you prefer children of God, that's fine too. But just understand that the, what he's trying to say is the top spot, the thing that is wanted, the, 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 the inheritance goes to you. Jesus became like you so, he, uh, so that he could proclaim you to have all that he has. His name, his titles, his fame. He gives it all to you, delivers it to you by grace alone, received by faith alone. Apart from him, you're nothing, a sinner outside the faith. But in him, you have all that he has. He could dust off the, 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 the seat at the right end of God and said, I'm preparing a place for you. This seat is yours. Is this blasphemous? No, this is the gospel. Again, I'm not saying you're Jesus. There's only one Jesus. I'm saying that in Jesus, in your baptism, in the word, in the body and blood of Jesus, in the absolution spoken to you by the, by, by the Lord through his, through his servant, you have everything that Jesus has. You're a child of God. Better, you're a son of God in him. That tells you how important you are to God. That tells you how wonderful you are. That tells you how he loves you. Not just with words, but with actions. He gave up his only begotten son to save you. You are the one who is saved. And at your baptism, at baptisms all over the world, I, I, I always wonder at, my, at the baptisms that I've done, that the heavens don't open up and a voice doesn't come and says, this is a beloved child. This is a beloved son with whom I'm well pleased. 
at the last day, he's going to say to you, with you, I'm well pleased. And if on the last day he says that to you, he says it to you now by faith. With you, I'm well pleased. Not because of your actions, but because of my son. And in the son of God, you are sons of God in Christ Jesus. I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this has been another Higher Things video short.